Sturgla Navy Spearman is one of the two main infantry options of Sturgla. This troop has been for a long time no one but the worst melee infantry option in the game. All of that changed when Pax 1.7 dropped. The revived the career many of us thought was over from the start. Differently from the Axeman, whose views of 1.7 is followed by some heavy PTSD, for the Spearman it was a blessing from the sky. The unit received an overall, mostly aimed at improving his armor. As any other infantryman, the role of the Spearman is to tank projectiles, fight infantry, and in this specific case, he can actually fight all archers and cavalry well. The average head armor of the Spearman is 51.5, combined between two templates. The first bringing the close decorated goggled helmet, and the second bringing the plumed decorated mailed nasal helmet. When combined, these two helmets will rank the Spearman in second place among infantry and seventh overall. When it comes to the body armor, the Spearman brings an average value of 58, split into different templates once more. Both templates will bring the same body piece, the heavy lamellar over Oberg, but their shoulder armor is going to be different, with template number one bringing the lamellar pauldrons, while the second template will bring no shoulder piece at all. Once again, someone is being cheered. When it comes to head plus body, the Spearman ranks third across infantry with a value of 110, and gains two positions to first when we consider all armor types. When talking about the equipment, it's hard to not start from the typical Sturgeon round shield, and in the case of the Spearman it brings an heavy round shield, a very tanky option with an HP value of 500. Despite its length only being 70, this shield is very good at protecting the unit, for the similar reasons we described in the Axeman analysis. For handling the melee duties, the Spearman brings a long warsword. It has 93 swing speed, a nice 69 damage, and a length of 100. This is one of the few weapons who is neither great or bad, but if it has to fall in a category, it's more bad than good. For the simple reason that it's a sword, and no an axe or a mace. The speed is nice, but the damage could be better and the length is a tad too long. Last piece of equipment we have to talk about is the spear. The heavy spearman will bring a jagged fine steel spear, with a very fast 85 thrust speed, 35 damage, and a very short length of 161. This is one of the few spears worth praising, as this unit is capable of using it effectively unlike many others. The simple reason to why, it's in the length, or lack of to be more precise. A short spear with a fast thrust allows the unit AI to be more likely to strike at the right time, and not miss as much as longer and slower spears tend to do. A few days back someone showed me a strategy that was capable of defeating cans using an equal amount of heavy spearmen. The heavy spearmen were one of three units capable of defeating the cans. Yes, you heard that right, these guys can defeat cans with sticks and they are the second best at doing so, all thanks to the short and fast spear. The link to the original video will be in the description. Now that we are done with the equipment, let's talk about the juicy tests and stats. Overall, the Spearman ranked third among infantry, with a total KD of 5.09 and a KD of 199.36 against low tiers. They ended up losing 517 units out of 3500 or roughly 15% and ended up with a casualty chance versus low tiers of 1.12%. Also, they ended the careers of 2631 custom battle soldiers. Differently from the Axeman, the overall KD is pretty good, but the stats versus low tiers are not as great. Now let's go ahead and list the pros and cons. The overall armor of this unit is quite good, but the templates tell another story, with one of the two being far worse than the other. The shield is very tanky, and despite its short length, it does its job well. The main weapon is not great. Unlike most infantry troops in the faction, they have no throwables, making them not only less versatile, but also creating a bit of synergy clash. They are not as good as their counterpart in killing low tiers, but their melee performance is still very good. They are one of the few units that can use a spear well, and they are good in sieges. I'll give this unit a 3.5 out of 5. Pax 1.7 was a huge revive for this troop that used to be at the bottom of the barrel before. Although, despite their good melee performance and the fact that they are one of the few units capable of using spears well, an higher vote is hard to give out, as their infantry counterpart is way better in melee and synergizes better with the shock trooper. Although, if you know you are going to be fighting some Kuzate, you know who you should bring among the two. Anyway, let me know what you guys think and what troop you want me to cover next, and Ragavad told me you might be interested in the video on your left next.